violent, very shocking incident happened. This was four o'clock in the afternoon, as you say. How did you feel when you first got into it? Uh, people are understandably shaken by uh, this. When I first received the call and was told about this uh, yesterday, uh, I was shocked. Uh, it is a shocking case. And that's why it's really important. If anybody knows who this man is, uh, they can ring the police or contact Crime Stoppers on 0800 555 one. If anybody sees this man, the police have received a CCTV image of him. Don't approach him, he's dangerous. Uh, they should ring 999. We have seen, I'm afraid, in the last week, uh, you know, this is the fourth stabbing. Uh, it's no consolation to the families to know in the other three stabbings, arrests have been made. Uh, there were uh, somebody, uh, people known to those who've lost their uh, lives. It's really important. We support the police by providing the police with any information we have. In the meantime, from City Hall, we're going to carry on supporting our police by investing in the police to suppress violence, but also supporting communities, giving young people and others constructive things to do. I have been concerned for some time, uh, as indeed of the police, uh, with the summer months uh, being here, with longer daylight hours, with the cost of living crisis being worse, not excusing criminality, uh, but the conditions that can lead to an increase in violent crime, increased deprivation, increased poverty, increased lack of opportunities, does lead to an increase in crime. That's why it's so important we support the police at the same time as addressing the cost of living crisis.